600 in the cage. And then we came here. And we turned this shit in the cane field. Right there, baby. Cane field. Right here. <laughs> Seven and oh. Seven and oh. Last two weeks, especially the last two weeks. Wow. I've seen so much in these young men because they've been different types of games. And yeah, been scoring a lot of points, and we'll, we got to work on that on defense. But to continue to fight, rather you're down like they were a couple weeks ago, or if you're up and a team keeps coming back, you got to push again and come back, you got to push again. These guys keep fighting. Now, you know, when, when I call coach and I be asking coach, like, what, what, what kind of practice we had? He said, okay, we had a great practice. Everybody's tuned in and everybody's ready. And then I heard that these guys even had a players-only meeting. Dude, my heart jumped. A players-only meeting at 6-0? I can understand a player's only meeting at 0 and 6. Because at 0 and 6, the player's only meeting is what the hell we are going to do, what's going on, this thing is falling apart, what can we do, everybody got to pay more close attention to their assignment. All chaos is in that room. But a 6 and 0 player's only meeting, when I said it to Lamar, Jack, Lamar Thomas and I was talking about on the sideline, he, 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 it's so funny. Like, he said the same thing. He said, dog, they had a players-only meeting at 6-0. and old. Nobody does that. Unless you want to recommit to what you've been doing. Because you're starting to understand now, wow, we got something. And right now, we got to make a pact that we will not let anybody Take this opportunity from us. That's what I was saying today. Don't let them take this. You write in your history. Don't let anyone stop you from writing well. And every time, my guys kept showing up. Ooh, ooh. Listen to me. I want you most to listen to me. Everyone out there, I'm going to tell you something. Watching these kids grow like this is something special. And I'm telling you right now, as many times as we've all talked over and over and over again about getting back to what we were, and we've asked these kids to lay it on the line, and they have. They have laid it on the line to the tune of 7 and 0 and about to return home. They, took, went, they went to Cal and made it Canesville. Then they came here to Louisville and made it Canesville. Now, all of these stadiums on the road with, with, with damn pack. I'd be damned when this young team, these young dogs that are fighting for us, when they return home on Saturday to play the Florida State, to play Florida State, I don't give a damn if Florida State record is zero and two fucking hundred. I don't give a damn. It ain't got nothing to do with Florida State. We better have our asses in them seats to tell you dudes that what they doing is what we've been talking about doing for years, for fucking years. And they're finally doing it. And y'all asses better show up. If you don't show up, I'm telling you, I don't even want to, I mean, if, if you are revoked forever. You can never throw up the fucking you. You are not part of the family. You better not let us walk in an empty damn stadium as hard as these boys working. Y'all be your ass up because I'm going to be there. You better be there.